guys, welcome back to another video. So, I decided to turn my channel into a story time channel because I like talking. That's that's the only reason I like talking. Anyway, so I made a video in like a few months. I'm gonna get back on it. So anyway, today I'm gonna be telling a story about when I got my first period. Now you know, ladies, every time like every story of somebody starting their first period is always something. Anyway, let me take y'all back. So this started like I was 12 years old. I was in the sixth grade, and I remember this day. I remember this day. I had ISS. Those of you that don't know what ISS is, basically you suspend it, but you're in school the whole entire day. So you were like just sitting in one classroom the whole day, which I don't get the point of that. Like just. Let me chill at home. Just let me chill at home. Anyway, so this particular day I had ISS, and no, I was not a bad kid. The only reason why I ever got in trouble was for talking too much. Yeah, I need to. I need to shut it. Anyway, <laughs> so I was in ISS this day, and I came into school. I remember I went to my teacher to ask her what class was I gonna be in, and she sent me upstairs to this eighth grade class. So. I never met this teacher before, like, you know, it was with the big kids, big kids. They were big to me back then. So I went up to her and she told me where to sit. She told me to sit in this little, by her um, teacher's desk. And yeah, so I was really shy and the class full of these big kids. Yeah, I would just keep it to myself. I just looked down. But then like, after like an hour, I got bored. Like, so bored. And the teacher, like, I didn't have no work to do. Normally, the teachers give me work. No teacher sent me work. So, I'm just sitting up here bored. And I asked the teacher for some paper. So, she gave me some paper. And I started drawing. And doing origami, you know. Little paper folding. All that type of stuff. So, yeah. A few hours passed. And this other class come in. And it's like, they were seventh grade. I don't know. So, they came in. And they started watching movies. And this one little dusty, dirty... Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this little dusty boy came and sat next to me like, do I know you? I don't think so. I don't know you. So why are you coming sit next to me? So he comes sit next to me and he talking like... Hey, girl, like... <laughs> I'm gonna do my little boy ways. He comes to me like, girl, like, you looking cute, whatever. Like, I, I like... This boy just talking to me like... Look, I'm a little girl. I ain't thinking about no boys. And he like, Oh, you cute. What you doing in here? Everything like that. I'm just like, um, and I said, Damn, what you do? I'm like, uh, like I was really shy. So I'm just looking at him like, I was just talking and like, yeah, so she gave me an answer. I was talking while she was talking. Girl, they, they ain't even nothing. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I guess the teacher noticed that I was uncomfortable. And she told the little boy to go to her seat. And that was in bed. Yeah. So anyway, um, I started talking to the teacher. The teacher, like, that made a conversation. So she was really nice. Like, we was talking for, like, an hour. You know, she thought I was really nice. She was like, like, how, like you seem like a smart girl. What are you doing in here? And I told her I was talking while she was talking. And she gave me that look like. Like you, she know I can do better. So I'm like yeah I know. I ain't, it ain't gonna happen no more. Never wanna see you in here again. You know how teachers be. You know how teachers be. Anyway. So yeah. So anyway the class going on. They're watching this little movie. I, I can't remember what movie it was. But yeah they were watching this little movie. And I'm just simply bored. So I remember taking a nap. So when I wake up. I hear the bell ring and all the kids leaving and everything, so I get up and leave. But before I left, um, I remember stopping it at the bathroom. And I went to the bathroom, you know, all I did was number one. And like, I put down my little panties, that's all I had on because, oh yeah, I didn't even say it. So at this school, we had uniform and the girls could only wear skirts and dresses. So me, I had on a skirt this day. So yeah, I go to the bathroom, they had no stockings, just had on those little knee, those like knee high socks or whatever, and my little school shoes. 
So all I had to do was put on my underwear to the bathroom. I only did it for one. So I'm just, you know, did my little business. I did not look at my underwear. Didn't look down at all. Did not look at the tissue. And I wait. So, yeah, didn't even pay no attention. Didn't, didn't look in the toilet when I flipped. Like, I missed everything. I missed all. I did not look at anything. Observations or anything. Like, so yeah. So I rode the bus back in this time. So after that, I went to my bus. You know, just sitting next to my friends. <sighs> Still didn't notice nothing. You know, just enjoy my day. Like, I didn't even feel no moisture. I didn't even feel anything. Like, I don't know. Don't know what was going on. But I just didn't feel anything or notice nothing. Like, when I left that um, ISS, when I left school, I did not notice anything in the seat. I don't even remember if I looked back. Anyway, let's continue on. So, on the way, but on my bus ride home, I didn't feel nothing. I felt normal. So, yeah. So, luckily, my stop is one of the last stops. Because just imagine if I would have, like, got... <laughs> my stop is one of the last stops, and I sit towards the front. So, when I get off, I just get off. So, yeah. So, anyway, I get home. And, you know, like, every time you come home, you have to use the bathroom for some reason. I get home, go straight to the bathroom. You know, sit down, and this time I did look down. And when I look down, to my horror, I'm just looking like, and I start crying. Like, <laughs> like I know I put on white underwear, but these just happen to be red. And I'm like, I know, like what, what is this? I start crying because like I don't like the sight of blood. And like when I seen this, like. I just got so scared. Like when you when you're young and like when you get your first period, that's not what you think of. You don't automatically assume that, oh yeah, this is my period. Like, I know I wanted one. I wanted one so bad. Like my big cousins, they all have theirs and they would tell me how terrible it is. Girl, no. I still wanted it so bad. Cause everybody like in my grade, they would always talk about it and stuff. And I was just like, I'm 12 and I still ain't get it. Everybody talk about they got theirs at 11. And I'm like, I can't relate. So anyway, anyway, I start crying. My mama heard me. She came in there. I'm like, Mama, look, I'm, I'm bleeding. Like I thought I was dying. I thought I was dying. Anyway, she's smiling, and I'm just like, I'm dying. What is so funny? Like I don't, I don't get it. So she was like, Nene, it's your period, and Nene like that thing. And she happy and stuff, and I'm just like, <laughs> you know, it's a big sigh of relief. Like, I thought I was bleeding out, I was dying, and I was like, happy, but then after she told me, I started looking at it again. I'm like, this, um, this look a little bit dark. Like, I think it's been here for a while. Like, <laughs> so she asked me, she was like, um, when this happened, I was like, I don't know. I just noticed it and stuff. I'm like, I'm just thinking like, oh my gosh. Like, imagine how long I had it and didn't notice. I have on a skirt. It's going to go directly on whatever I sit on. I'm just thinking like, <sighs> I just didn't even want to think about it. Like, oh my gosh, I probably made everything covered in blood. Like, it's just, ew. Anyway, so she gave me a pad and I already knew how to use it. And I put it on and I was happy. This period only lasts only last for like three days. By the third day, I was over it. Like, I was over it. I wanted it so bad, but it was horrible. Like, I didn't have no cramps or anything, but it's just that feeling was so brand new to me, and I just hated it. It was horrible. So, anyway, yeah, that was the story of how I got my first period. So, the next day at school, one of my close friends. She was in the bathroom with me, cause you know how you are with your little friends. Y'all always going to the bathroom together. And back then, everybody had the same classes with the same people. So it's not, well not really, but it's just like, anyway, it's, it's complicated. Anyway, so this one girl, she was really close to me and she was in my class. So every time I would step up to the bathroom, you know she's gonna come right along cause that's my, that's my girl. So you know she's gonna come right with me. So yeah, she did, and you know, I'm just in the mirror putting on some lip gloss or whatever, and I hear her start crying, and I'm like, what's wrong? 
you know, I'm just like, what's wrong, girl? Like, come out, tell me. And she was like, she told me she knew what it was. She knew what it was, and she told me, she was like, <laughs> I started, I started my period. And I'm just like, why are you crying? But I couldn't even talk because I was just crying yesterday. But I'm like, girl, I was like all excited. I'm like, girl, I just started mine yesterday. I got some pads, here you go. Like, you know, I gave her my pads or whatever. And yeah. But yeah, that was just coincidence that she started the day after me. Anyway, so that's the story of how I got my first period. It was like crazy, kind of disgusting. But that's my story. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed, comment down below the story of when your first period happened. And I like, I'm gonna read it and it's gonna be interesting. So anyway, comment down below when your first period started. Leave a like on the video and subscribe. So, hope this video wasn't too cringy, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.